Hey Legionnaires and Merry Christmas or Merry Christmas Eve. This will be coming out probably during like the Christmas break where I'm taking off uh, for YouTube. So I'll have pre-recorded this. But yes, what is better for Christmas than some Rise of Mordor? So uh, yeah, we have four armies of elves here. All the Woodland Realm against four armies of the Dwarves of Erebor. We have the Dwarves versus the Elves. Uh, and matchup that is quite an interesting one for Rise of Mordor. It's to see kind of who has the strongest army, really, because these arguably are two of the strongest factions in the game for like infantry and uh, yeah, and like archers and whatnot. Not, I mean, like the crossbows for Erebor are really like good if used correctly. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, if you're enjoying seeing Rise of Mordor at the moment on the channel and would like to see some more, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And uh, leave a comment. And I hope you guys are all having a really merry, merry Christmas as well. And uh, enjoying it, uh, like, as best you can. Certainly in, like, the UK, like, a lot of Christmas plans have been scuppered. If you know about it, then you uh, you know what I mean. If you don't, then uh, probably just worth maybe researching. Basically, Boris has ruined Christmas, but we don't go into that. It's like, but as you can see here, the elves are almost boxing up. As uh, we have the dwarves coming in here. The, actually, the dwarves have the, uh, the cavalry advantage. With their escort mercenaries here, which you saw are about to go, and they like the daily and uh, like mercenaries that they like. I guess they've hired, and we can see that the dwarves are about to clash here. We have the uh, axe warriors going in first. Erebor axe warriors going in against the uh, Las Garland spears here, and this will be where the first fight begins on this front line over here. We've got spears already coming up. Uh, it's an interesting thing. Uh, I do believe that like the dwarves are supposedly supposed to be getting some. Uh, some like halberds or something so that would be really good like another asset for the dwarves to have uh, I could be wrong on that but I'm pretty sure I've seen artwork of the dwarven halberds so that would be really really cool but yeah this replay was sent to me um, well by a Jackie um, by um, like the Rise of Mordor team they're like doing a lot of uh, doing a lot of uh, like battles at the moment on their uh, on their discord so I definitely would go and like join their discord I will leave a link for it in the description um, they're getting involved in, like doing a lot of events like these like dwarves versus elves uh, and such like so uh, yeah if you want to get involved in like some rise of Mordor action definitely go and join their discord if you want to uh, do so also feel free to join mine if you'd like to uh, chat to fellow subs also get involved in some rise of Mordor and other like uh, total war action again that link will be in the description down below but as you can see like the only cavalry that um, like the elves have are these elven king riders but i mean in fairness these elven king riders might be enough to take out most of these escort mercenaries because the escort mercenaries are nothing special and uh, yeah, the Elven King can do a good amount of damage. Because here we have uh, like Lords of Lasgallan firing into the backs of these uh, dwarves, which are really bunching up. Because yeah, and we got what's this? Grim Hammer's already uh, like breaking. This is a really bad sign. Well, not breaking, but uh, like losing decisively. Sorry, I should say. Like I mean, lots of these units actually are losing decisively. Um, like they're trying to like I don't know if they're pulling through or what. Yeah, they look like they're pulling through these dwarves. But uh, that's not going to help with their like units. They're trying to get into like these hall guardians. I think they might be like having an attack order to go for the archers, and yeah, they're actually like pulling through and they're doing a lot more damage to their units than they are to uh, like to the elves. So that is not a good sign. But uh, as you can see here, like the elves are uh, they're holding pretty strong at the moment. There's a lot of them in here. There's an army of elves. It's like uh, that line in the um, the Hobbit. I'm just keep thinking of when I say an army of elves. It's like nothing gets past me, sire. Uh, like, I forgot who, what his name is, but says to Bard, and he's like, apart from an army of elves. And yes, this is quite an army of elves, this is. Uh, I think, how many numbers do we have here today, actually? We have about 6,000 on either side. I'd say the elves have slightly more. We have an enemy general dead already. Uh, okay, so, yeah, it looks like the Lords of Las Garland. Possibly, oh, no, it might be this Grimhammer down here. This Grimhammer here, I think, might be dead. No. Uh, it's saying it's... No, it must be that. Uh, yeah, it must be this Grim Hammer here. It's breaking, like, pretty much instantly. Well, not breaking, but, like... I mean, this must be due to, like, pulling through or something. They must be just pulling through here with the dwarves. I'm not really sure exactly, uh... Why these dwarves are doing this, but they're losing so many men and not, like, killing any elves. So this is just poor play here by the dwarves. Um, just a really, really poor move. You can see here the elves are now just charging out. Going after uh, the dwarves over here. Chopping these guys down. And these whole I got hall guardians in here as well. They seem to be doing okay. Like barely digging any casualties. 
and they'll chop them. The Hull Garden is probably one of the strongest units in this game. You can see the Dwarves start their attack over here on this, like, other, like, sort of line here. Um, so definitely an all-out offensive by the Dwarves. And it's Spears versus Spears. It's going to be a very slow uh, fight here, basically. There's no one's going to be winning this. Poking each other with their long spears and then just protecting themselves with their large shield. It's just kind of a pretty... Yeah, pretty non-existent fight going on there. See the elves here ready in like a uh, like an arrow formation. That's really cool. Like a wedge formation, I should really call it. You see the dwarves here losing so many men. They've lost like so many just because of like wasteful attacks. I don't know what the, dwar the dwarven player was doing here exactly. Look at this. Escort Mercer is wavering. At 60 men, they had full like full strength and they're wavering. You see the uh, elves are d uh, dying here, though. They're getting shot to pieces by uh, crossbows. And this is what they need to do, the dwarves. You need to get these crossbows in place and get them firing. They've got some really good uh, archers to the, uh, to the dwarves. That can be used really well. Like, those are really good armor piercing. You see the uh, elves are losing here as well. So, I mean, there is... The dwarves can do a lot of good here if they uh, if they play this right. And the, uh, they're actually going to try and fight this, uh, this elven king here. They're going to get the charge on him. These uh, escort mercenaries. I don't think they'll win. I can't see them winning. It'd be better if one charged head on and then one rear charged. And they might have had a chance. They needed a spear unit over here, but you can see the elves are actually sending a spear unit to the support. Um, I mean there's more cavalry here. You can get these uh these sword uh these uh, escort mercenaries here to run down this spear. But yeah, these Elven King like lost no men, and I bet the escort mercenaries lost a few men, like uh, they lost like two men themselves. They're not like nothing amazing then. Nothing amazing. The elves actually are losing here. You can see Lasgal and Spears uh, losing. It doesn't help that there is a Dwarven General in here. Grim Hammers uh, causing absolute havoc. These are like two armies that just specialize in having small armies but really, really elite. Uh, a General has died though for the elves. Uh, and there you go. It's this uh, this one here. This um, this general here, Lords of the Last Garden King, focused down by crossbows. A really good idea because uh, crossbows, like I said, really good armor piercing. So they'll do a lot of good work there. So I mean, that's not gonna that's gonna put a lot of strain on this little front here for the elves uh, and everything over here, really. But uh, they should be okay. Should be elves of like elves and dwarves can both do really well without uh, like generals if need if they need to. You can see here the Elven King now being able to get into the back lines, going after these Erebor crossbows here. Uh, Erebor crossbows are really good, got good armor, but. No armor stops you getting killed by a, a, a cavalry charge. You die pretty quickly. Uh, the escort mercenaries are coming in though, and they're going to try and uh, pin these cavalry down. They'll stop them from going after more crossbows. They should do the job. And then they could get these crossbows and kind of focus these guys down in the back line, uh, in the back if they wanted to. You can see Las Galen Blades so have found a gap through the line here. The dwarves are putting a lot of pressure here, but have opened up a gap actually, uh, in doing so. See more cavalry here getting involved, rear charges and such like. Uh, so they actually, yeah, they're engaging the crossbows here. Poor guys. They just got survived like a, a, a cavalry attack and then they get attacked by infantry. So you can see Hall Guardians here as well. They're getting ready. They're going to flank around. And uh, they're actually sending back some swords and they're going to try and engage these uh, these Hall Guardians. We'll put it in slow-mo for a bit because we'll just see what's going on everywhere. Uh, so yeah, you can see like the Hall Guardians here fighting these, uh, these dwarves. We've got... Uh, a fairly good push here, I'd say, by the dwarves. The dwarves are making a decent amount of ground here. You can see that the uh, like more last golem blades and even hall guardians are now being thrown into this uh, this area here to hold back the dwarves as they uh, as they push on. They've got their grim hammers in here. I mean, these guys are nasty. You need to get a lot of archers on them. You can see cavalry over here for the dwarves. Escort mercenaries are running down a lot of these uh, these archers here, which is really really good. Get rid of these uh, lords of last golem. You're gonna do quite well. I mean, look at their armor though. Looks amazing. Really does. It's top tier. Top tier stuff, that is. Over on this side, looks like they're doing okay, the elves. They had a little bit of an issue to start with, but they seem to be holding okay. They've actually managed to get a unit around the back. I don't know if they've pulled this through as well, or what. Um, or it might have gone the whole way around, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, you can see the uh, the dwarves here losing as well, Erebor Axe Warriors. Makes me feel like it got pulled through because it, they, like, they're losing, and also these dwarves are losing. Uh, I may be wrong. Uh, these crossbows could just focus this unit down. As it like just mo uh, moves forward, like they just get a few a few flanking shots uh, over here. I don't know how these elves have managed to get here exactly. Um, maybe they went around here. I'm re not really sure. But they're fighting a, a general over here. And these grim hammers will win this. Grim hammers are so nasty. They'll take on as many last garland blades as they like. 
And uh, yeah, that's kind of all that's going on. I mean, this is a, an entire line um, of like dwarves and elves just fighting in different areas. In different areas, you got the dwarves and you got the elves winning. Depends on uh, where we're looking. You can see the cavalry now being chased off by an elven king. They could do with focusing this elven king down with archers. Yeah, they're doing just that as I say it. Uh, hopefully these guy crossbows can get some decent shots. I hope they're really good like armor piercing. Yeah, they're keeping the carry at bay. They've shot like one, maybe it might take a couple more down with them. Here we go, they're gonna charge into the escort mercenaries. In they go. And they're going in there, and I mean I mean they don't really want to actually, they're gonna fall back. I mean, better idea, fall back and then try and get the support of these Hall Guardians here. As, um, like, because the Shock Infantry is really, obviously, really good against Cav, anti-Cav, very useful. If they can get a good charge to this Cavalry, they could do a lot of damage to these Hall Guardians. Uh, not really. I mean, they did an okay charge there. Don't know if they really killed many of these guys. Uh, look at that, Cavalry breaking at 55 men. This is, must be the general, like, the general, uh, unit. Like, the, the unit that lost its, the army that lost its general, sorry, is what I was trying to say. They've got a general all the way up there. There's a Grim Hammer still on that hill. Uh, they can get these crossbows. They can focus these uh, Hall Guardians out on the flank. And because, uh, like, Shock Infantry, like, does not do well against archers either. So, like, these guys getting shot on the flank. Big win. Uh, Elves actually breaking here. Las Garland Spears breaking. I mean, yeah, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. These Hall Guardians just got rinsed. Literally looked away for two seconds. And they're down, like, from a full unit. Can they do it to the other unit now? Surely not. Surely these uh, crossbows won't get off another volley like this, do another load of damage. I might be wrong, they might do. Let's keep an eye on this. F in the chat for that whole guardian, though. No, they're going to rear charge. They're going to go for a rear charge on these, uh, on these uh, dwarves, I thought. No, they are going to charge in. How have they not got another volley off these crossbows? They're not that slow, I didn't think. They're going to fall back. They should engage with one and let the others just focus, like shoot on the side. That's the best move they can do. Um, but as you can see, the elves, are, the elves are holding it for a good time, it seems. They managed to uh, get a little gap here, and they're nearly uh, getting around. They actually are going to rear charge now, these dwarves. And uh, they may get focused down, though, by uh, infantry. Or by the uh, crossbows, sorry, if they do this. So we're going to see in a moment. Let's get the nice angle. It still looks awful on a certain angle. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. The unit has rallied. And yeah, those are, those dwarves won't be feeling so good with the uh, rear charge. Those uh, of those are hall guardians. You can see that the uh, crossbows over here. Doing a lot, um, getting charged heavily by these Elven King Riders. They need to focus down this general. Oh, he's getting focused down quite heavily. Oh my gosh, Crossbow's is getting focused down. Look at that. Should not have run away. He should have just carried on charging into the units. He may lose his general here. He may get, well, he's going to get, he's going to rear charge these, uh, these dwarves first. Oh, there you go, Thranduil. They're all bloodied up. He's just, oh, he's just about alive. He's going to get focused down constantly, I imagine, by those crossbows. It's not a good place to get stuck or like be fighting near these crossbows. Focus and down, uh, dwarves. There you go. He's getting shot up again. He's down to what, how many men? Eight? Oh, he can't be mo there can't be many more of them. Where is Thranduil? There you go. That's another one dead. And that is uh, this Elven King. So I wonder whether this Elven army will start to wave. Over on this side, it looks like the dwarves... Still doing okay, but getting surrounded in some areas. You can see here, look at this. That's that's not good for morale. Uh, the dwarves getting surrounded by these uh, Last Garland Blades. And the uh, Last Garland Blades will uh, mop these guys up if they carry on fighting like that. He's, again, the dwarves over here, they've got like a unit just standing here, these Erebor Axe Warriors. And you just charge them into something. I guess they're trying to protect the Grim Hammer's flank, but they are not doing a good job. They're just better charging in. Like, this unit here is just doing nothing.
but it does look like I would say the elves are getting the upper hand. I mean, this is a, not a good sign at all. The dwarves are uh, certainly losing a lot of men. They, I mean, they just pulled through so many units, bizarrely. I don't know what he was doing, the player. But he pulled through so many units and lost so many men and a general. And it's cost this team. Like, dwarves are just not good. Like, got the numbers now. They've got a lot of spears here. They probably want to start spreading some of these guys out. They can't really afford to double stack units like this. I can see a Grimhammer coming down. Oh, that's going to be a good charge into the flank. That will be a very nice charge into the flank. I mean, Grimhammers, even with, like, adversity, again, like, in the uh, face of adversity, they'll still do a lot of damage. These boys, I expect, to rack up kills. There's 12 Grimhammers on the battlefield. There will be 12 on the battlefield, I imagine. These guys do not mess around. But yeah, as you can see over here, the Dwarven army is almost defeated. It's getting surrounded and murdered. That is a real shame to see. I mean, it looks like the Dwarves are going to be down to just like what's over here. I mean, they might, they are cleaning up this sort of army here. I mean, these, I think these Elven armies on this side lost their generals. So their morale's not so great. But they could do with mopping these up, pr these guys pretty quickly. With fewer losses as possible. Uh, because right now, the Dwarves have about half the army size of the, uh, of the Elves. I'm rooting for the dwarves. Gotta root for the underdogs. They got crossbows in here, which is a real concern. I don't know if that was a misclick. Uh, the crossbows are breaking, so whether it was a misclick or not, they're gone. And these ones will soon be joining them. Look, this whole army on this side is chain routing. This is a real concern. Look at that. And the dwarves are kind of just left to this army over here. I feel like the dwarves, it was for the dwarves to win. They had the cavalry advantage. Like, even if it's escort mercenaries, those guys are nasty. They can run down archers and uh, like rear charge stuff. I feel like if they use those cavalry a lot better, the, uh, the dwarves, they could have like, they could win this. But it, it's all gone. All that cavalry has gone. It's got mobs by the Elven King. Yeah, all only had to do was just like, Pin lives. the Elven King down and focus him down with archers. These Elven Kings have not good to a crossbow, it would seem. Uh, you can see the Grim Hammers are now losing in here. There's a general as well. Not a good sign. I don't know if he's getting rear charged or is that just Hall Guard? Oh, no, it's just a flanking Hall Guard in. Look how bloody these guys are, though. Bloodied up. They have seen a lot of casualties. Not a good sign, not a good sign at all. And over here as well, even though like the dwarves are like outnumbering these elves, they're still wavering here. I mean they're down to six men in fairness. Yeah, they're just chopping down these allies garland blades with their archers, like on the flank. Look at this. They're trying to shoot them with the crossbows, but they're getting then shot themselves by all these archers over on this side as well. Last garland archers here. Oh they've got all the arrows poking out of these guys. They don't even care. They've got like arrows with their shoulders. The legs, they don't even care. So the elves are now just sweeping on around. It's going to do a lot of rear charges. They're even like killing off the crossbows here. And yeah, the battle is turning in their favor. I'm not surprised. Um, <laughs> there is so many elves left. So And there's so few dwarves. Less than a thousand dwarves now on the battlefield. It's like a good chunk of them in these few, un few units of spears here. I mean, El um, Dwarven Spears, sorry, are really solid. They, like, the er Erebor uh, Spear Guards, you can, like, put in a choke point, and they'll hold forever. Such good armor. Such good missile block. You see these Hall Guardians, think they're trying to pull through. Well, they're just readjusting, setting themselves up into this, uh, this spot here, and they get themselves killed. 
be careful. Crossbow's over this side getting rushed. And they're rear charging stuff here, trying to kill this general. I think he might be the last man here. You can see, they don't even need to, like, kill the general. Like, they could just rear charge everything here. Of the dwarves, and it will break. And this is going to be the end of the dwarves. They're doomed. Doomed. Durin's folk will fall, it would seem. See the dwarves are, uh, they're holding on. I mean, like I said, these spear guards, they don't even care if they're surrounded. I mean, I say that. What's this one? That's a spear guard variable breaking there with 59 men, in fairness. That one cared, clearly. But, I mean, this one's still happy. Getting attacked in the rear is shaken, but it doesn't care. I mean, it's probably also not happy that it's seeing friends, like, break. But this is it. These spear guards are all that's left. And they're still holding for a little while. But let's just fast forward a little bit. There's nothing really, like, major to look at. Just looking at dwarves fighting on here. Units ammunition is spent and it can no longer fire. I'm surprised the elves used all their ammo. There was not masses of fire. The dwarves kind of got into combat as quickly as possible. Like they didn't uh They didn't mess around with the dwarves. Probably for the best. The elves if they like got their chance to skirmish would definitely have won this. Our elven like archers are just nasty. I mean I say that, but the dwarves are so such good got such good armor. Like the elves would have to get like rear shots, they'd have to be shooting at like grim hammers, obviously they yeah, you'd focus the Grim Hammers down. Uh, maybe the Archers as well, but like, maybe Cav, but you wouldn't be like shooting their, their shielded units. You just get no success. Look at all of these guys just getting sent in now. The Elves are just piling it in. They don't even care. Don't even care. Let's get in there amongst the men. Or the Dwarves, I should say. And amongst the Dwarves. See it from their point of view. It looks pretty grim. They could do with a few grim hammers because it is a very, very grim uh, look down there for the dwarves. Spear guards, yeah, losing decisively. Just popping rallies because, you know, why not? Just pop a few rallies as the elves. Dwarves can't do that. They got no gel. I'm surprised they're holding this line rich, like rich, surrounded, uh, and have no generals. Not a general in sight, and they're still holding on. But yeah, that is uh, that is basically the battle. The elves won very much easily. Like they have three thousand men left. The dwarves got about half of them. I feel like there's a poor use of the uh, dwarves at the start, and their cav they could have used. They could have like there's a big gap here in the line where there's like fire uh, like areas. There's like a big gap in the line here, I'm pretty sure, between these two barricades. They could have got their cavalry in and gone after archers and stuff like that. I mean, they got a few generals, um, but like the, the uh, dwarves, like they got a few dwarven, uh, elven generals, sorry. Um, but like they, they could have done a little bit better. And they could have focused on those elven kings if they wanted to. If they felt that they were a real threat, kill them. Shoot them with archers. Uh, or crossbows, I should say. It does look glorious. The elves are pushing on hard now. They're throwing in archers and everything. They don't even care. Oh my god, these elves. Don't even care, they're just walking towards the dwarves. The dwarves would be racking up kills. It's just an island of grey. Look at that, an island of grey. We're gonna watch it from this view. I kinda wanna watch the like the island get smaller and smaller as the uh, elves push in.
And there you go, a Peric victory for the, uh, I was about to say for the Dwarves, they did not get a Peric victory. For the Elves, the Woodland Realms, there you go, end the replay. And I have a look at some of the uh, the end results uh, quickly. So, um, yeah, this was a, um, a pretty, it was an okay replay to be fair. I mean, like I said, I think the Dwarves made a few mistakes. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Elves have played very, very well. So we've got uh, Twix here who is uh, playing as one of the uh, Woodland Realm armies. And getting some decent kills with his, like, Haven Guard, uh, Haven Guard, with his uh, Hall Guardians. If there was Haven Guard here, I'd be very surprised and very confused. 177, his, uh, his, um, Last Garland Blades here, 162, uh, kills. I like two of his, like, very outstanding units. Then we've got Manu here, who's playing as the Wooden Realm. 204 kills with his Elven King Rider. Uh, his, uh, his Blades getting 123, and his, uh, Hall Guardians getting 165. So archers doing okay, but nothing amazing. I mean, you're not going to get great kills with archers because the uh, the dwarves' armor is so good. Then we've got uh, Stoke Van Hoyt here, who's playing as um, who's playing as Wooden Realm as well. Obviously, 75 kills with his Elven King. His blades getting 110 kills. His Hall Guardians getting 111, and his archers, yeah, not doing amazing. Getting like 63 kills, nothing like amazing. Then we've got a uh, tie dye dude who's playing as the uh, Last Garland Blade. Well, El Woodland Realm. He's Last Garland Blades getting uh, 145 kills. 172, actually, no, a lot better over here. 168 kills with his spears as well. And his uh, Hall Guardian's getting 116. Uh, so not too bad there. Then we have uh, God Emperor of Mankind who is playing as uh, Erebor. And he's uh, Drimhammer's get here getting 187 kills. Not too bad. Um, he's an another one down here getting 112. His uh, axe is doing okay, nothing amazing, 89 kills. His spears, like, no kills, they just held the line. His crossbow is 86 kills, and his uh, cav getting 39 kills. Then we have Seder Tiff, who was playing as an Erebor. Yeah, he was the one that was pulling through. Look at all this, just pulling through, pulling through, pulling through, and just wasted his army. Uh, so, yeah, nothing interesting there. Then we've got Dane the second, uh, Ironfoot, very appropriate name for uh, Erebor. And, uh, yeah, he got uh, 53 kills with his Grim Hammers. Uh, general, uh, he got 130 kills with his Erebor Axe Warriors, and then he got um, 113, yeah, with his Spear Guards of Erebor. It's pretty solid, actually, for a Spear unit. Uh, his crossbow's getting 106 kills, 131. I wonder if he was the one gunning down uh, the Elven King. And then his Escort Mercery is getting uh, into the 30s kills. Nothing amazing. Then we have um, Hamid, who was playing as uh, the final Erebor army. 130 kills with his Grim Hammers. And then he's got a uh, 90 kills with his Erebor Axe Warriors. His Grim Hammer's getting 132 kills, and his uh, yeah his spears and crossbows not doing that great at all. But there you go, guys. That was a battle. The Elves defeated Erebor. They are the superior faction possibly in today's uh, battle, and maybe not uh, overall. I can like uh, definitely say, but uh, was Erebor getting new units as well? They may uh, come back with a. a bit more venom next time but if you guys enjoyed then do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're new around here and leave a comment to show your support and make sure to hit that notification notification bell so you know when the next uh like rise mortar battle is out and until next time legionnaires i will see you in the next one bye for now